We met at Southwest Missouri State University. I came walking out of the office and there was Susan standing with a guy I knew. He introduced us and long story short, we were married less than six months later. Best decision I ever made. They just seemed to be soulmates from day, day one. As far as Susie was concerned, she married the whole package. That's Susie. When you say your family, it means family with a capital F. And then we had Peter, and then we had Matthew. I adored her. She was uh, an incredible woman, and she loved me. Uh, I never quite understood that, but she did, and I just learned to accept it. When she would break down, I could be strong. When I broke down, she could be strong. We could bring our best to the game. I don't have her best. Uh, I don't even have her worst. Um, and her worst was better than most people's best. We grew up in a really small house. The four of us shared a room for our whole lives. So we got married mm -hmm. and moved mm -hmm. out. It, it, there was a bunk bed and one upright dresser and a bunk bed. And we each had a drawer in the dresser. That's all that fit in the room. The dresser just fit in between, between the two, two bunk two beds. beds. And we each shared, we shared we had one drawer. We each had one drawer and we each had one little tiny part of a little tiny part of the the closet. About two inches of a closet. Yeah. yeah. We, we grew up a very close family. And she was the best in her class. She was the smartest. Every combined that with such a sense of family all the time. She was very aware of the whole family and what everybody was doing. Nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters. She yeah. started a round robin, Sunday morning round robin. So she would call one sibling and then they would call the next and it would go all the way around so that everybody knew what everybody was doing. Ed and Susan were extremely active members of our scouting community. Susan made sure that these boys and everyone in her den earned everything there was to earn. She put this flag together, she glued all these things, and she did this for everybody in the den. She was fiercely protective of the boys, but she also wanted them to experience everything. She was always thinking of what to do to expand their horizons. I keep expecting her to come home sometimes. I'll hear the door open and I'll look around for mom. We did projects together. I helped her with Cub Scouts. I helped her with science camp. And I mean, everyone's amazed at what she comes up with for the younger kids to do that still seems like real science stuff. But it's really fun too. It's kind of hard to explain. I mean, it's just she's not there. Even though she moved away from Montgomery, there are still permanent reminders that she had a presence here. You can look around and see things that she started that are that's still going on. Susan was a quiet motivator. She was a catalyst to get a new computer lab, a new science lab, we put in a new playground, we changed landscaping. Soon after Susan was killed, the community here wanted to do a benefit for her. Former teachers, friends, colleagues, that all wanted to come together in some way and remember her. It, it was just wonderful to work with people that would share themselves and their time and their family with getting things done for the school and the church. Susan worked with young African Americans in my community. She lived in another community, but she chose to come over in our community and work with the youth who wanted to better their lives. Centennial Hill is, fell into ruin, and Susan Slattery came in with Ed and helped us to try and reverse this trend. Montgomery's a better place because Susan Slattery lived here and raised her family here. She did those things because they were the right things to do and because she got personal satisfaction from knowing that she was helping make a difference, but she didn't care if anybody else knew that. Mm -hmm. yeah, everything was just that little bit better than what it ever would have been or ever could have been if she was involved. I hired her to chair our mathematics department. It was a no-brainer. She was, um, was head and shoulders above any of the other 
applicants. Susan was a very gifted teacher and administrator. I think she had the potential to do anything she wanted to. If she wanted to be a dean somewhere, provost, president, she has the, the, the skill sets to do that. She was just hitting her stride, <laughs> just hitting mm -hmm. her stride. But there was no ceiling for Susie. You can't possibly comprehend the magnitude of someone who had the professional life she had, the family life she had, and the future she had. It's such a huge, <clears throat> huge hole, and it affects everything. It affects every single minute of every single day. Everything you do that you think, she should be here to see this, to do this, to be a part of this. It's horrible. There's just no way to describe it. There's just no way. I get up in the morning and I think, maybe I was dreaming. Mm. Maybe, if you think about it hard enough, it'll go away and it won't be real. People know what was lost here and it, they're so frightened that something like that could happen to, to one of us. There are lots of ways to die. Boys go off to war, children go off to war, and that's horrible. But it's in the back of your head. There might be a bullet there, but driving down the road on a sunny morning, Monday morning, and then to get a call that your daughter has been killed is not a way to die. She was careful. She watched out for the cars, she didn't speed. But you don't have anything that you can do when a truck hits you. Nothing. When you stop and think about the lives that she touched here, and then 300 plus girls coming to learn about careers in science, and the kids that come for the, the science camp in the summers, and, and those eighth graders that might have a leg up on college now, I can't really <sighs> grasp fully the extent of the, the loss. You can't even describe the hole that you have in a family. Here was somebody who was really at the top of their life, really and was just doing a lot of good things. Here's somebody who was making a difference. It's so senseless. It's nice to know that your children are doing the most they can with their life. It's hard to think of her not being able to go on with her life. She was too young.